Hello! As you can see a new custom enclosure is arrived and today I'd like to show you uh, some details related to mechanical construction and how to put all pieces together. The chassis it's made of 1.5 mm steel which is also zinced and uh, there is a four part top and bottom front and rear ventilation holes these screws it's for fixing uh, power channels uh, so that mechanical strength is better on the bottom we have a foot which is also fixed with screws ventilation holes on the rear we have a um, 60 millimeters fan connection from uh, LAN and USB power connector with uh, dual fuse and main power switch uh, on the front we also have something what is called power switch it is used just for some very emergency situation you just need to to shut down power part without uh, MCU assistance if you want to remove a top plate uh, there is a four screws here and there is a on the on the side two okay so it looks like this that's two uh, heat sinks it's uh, for a main MOSFET on the post regulators uh, it's created from three u-shaped aluminum plates which is fixed here and here and the power MOSFET goes in the middle I put that thermal bridge to just a piece of aluminum 5 millimeters thick and you will need some silicon uh, rubber as isolator all cables it's fixed power section it's additionally isolated because this inlet is not completely isolated by default uh, USB directly on the Arduino I'm not I'm not so happy about this section I probably will need to put something on top maybe uh, some kind of of isolation tape like this or maybe some additional piece of plastic or something to be more on the safe side when everything gets open it but okay for now I think that it's more than enough protection earth it's fixed down on the on the chassis and all that it's grounded and additionally ground goes directly to to this binding post uh, this place it's enough to put a toroidal transformer so if someone want to to use a transformer instead of ACDC power modules, it's welcome to do that. In that case, you just need to populate some extra stuff on power boards. Uh, here on the rear, a 
put additional that section is additionally fixed with one spacer so you can safely plug and plug a USB without any any problem for PCB it's ready to to go and okay we have a lots of idea what to put in a firmware many things is already done but many things will come soon and uh, I will try to cover that in some of the next videos thank you once again for your attention